All right. Hello, everyone. Hello again. There's a few more coming in. Welcome. So we're going to get started shortly. Um, <clears throat> uh, my name's Tyler. Uh, I think I know most of most of everyone here. Um, and while we're sort of waiting for folks to show up uh, and get comfortable, I have a list and a bit of a chart with some of the materials that you might need um, for today if you want to join us. If you want to just watch, that's totally fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so what I have um, today are scissors and glue. Um, or you can use a hot glue gun, whichever you prefer. I'll go through the materials in, uh, in a few more, in a little more, um, uh, in a little more detail. Um, but this is the big, the big one. If you don't have this stuff, I made a little board here. Um, so yeah, glue and then a panel, if you're going to work flat, which you can use uh, cardboard. And then uh, what I refer to as a repeated material. So that could be cardboard, which I've cut into triangles, or this is from a toilet paper uh, tube, some marble, some drinking straws. This is just uh, strips of paper that I rolled up. You don't actually have to do anything to it yet. Um, you just need to gather those things if you haven't already. So I'll give everyone a couple of minutes to go ahead and gather um, some things and, uh, and then we'll get started uh, shortly. So I'll just keep holding this up here. I guess I have something to prop it up against. I'll just hold it. <clears throat> So welcome to the folks who just joined us. Um, if you're just watching, great, super. If you're gonna join, if you don't have your materials uh, just yet, I'll give you a couple of minutes to get set up. These are a few examples of some of the materials uh, that I have, that we have available, or that you can that you can use that'll work well for this uh, project. I know I don't have very great handwriting, so I actually glued some of them right to the, uh, the paper here so that you can see it. All right, so I'm going to maybe get started with the uh, the explaining the project a little bit. Uh, if you were with us last week, um, welcome back. And if this is your first week with us, then welcome for the first week. Uh, my name is Tyler, and this is uh, AGH at Home um, Workshop Wednesday. So today we're going to be creating some sculptures. It can be called modular sculptures. Um, and I have a few examples before I get into that stuff. Um, just to let you know, we are recording, uh, this session. It'll just be me that you see. Um, so that way we can post it up on our website. If I talk too fast or if you miss something, um, it'll be up there. And our session from last week is up on the website as well uh, if you look at um, AGH at home. So if you happen to miss something in the live stream, then you can just watch it again uh, in the recorded version. So some of the examples that I have today, uh, this one that you might have seen in the picture um, <clears throat> is made, can anyone guess what this is made out of? little quiz. You can tell me in the chat. I will tell you what it is. It is made out of um, uh, 
hula hoops, bubble tea straws. Yeah, it kind of looks like that, but they're um, hula hoops that were, uh, the hula hoops were actually broken. So I, oh, you didn't fail. It's okay. It was, a, they really look like bubble tea uh, straws. Um, but instead of throwing them out, I chopped them up and I glued them together. Um, and then another one I have here is this one here I made out of uh, bits of cardboard um, that you saw maybe on the board here, those triangles. And another one I have here is uh, these sort of rolls of paper that I've glued to this panel. So you can see I've done some sort of flat. That's really lighting up because it's all white paper. Um, <clears throat> they're, uh, they're kind of flat there, uh, done on a panel. And uh, these ones I've done um, so that they are uh, free, free standing. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure we're all Oh, there we go. Figured out how to turn that off. Great. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera down here a little. Actually, before I do that, uh, the nice thing about these ones is uh, you can put that like on on your wall or something like that. Uh, you could pop it in a frame if you want to, and you get kind of a neat uh, a neat picture. All right, so. Some of the, uh, again, some of the materials that I have, I'll go over them really quickly. Um, the white glue, the scissors, um, glue gun if you want to use it, and what I refer to as the um, repeatable material. So a few examples of that I have are the cardboard bits here. So I have these cardboard triangles that um, this itself can be a repeating unit or you can glue them together. I made it into this kind of like diamond thing. So that's one. Um, to make the rings, I took a, a paper tube and I chopped it up like this. So now I've got, basically what you want for this project is a lot of the same thing. Um, and I like to keep it the same as a bit of a challenge, right? Like I'm not going to use, I mean, you can if you want, but I'm not going to use for this one, you know, three of these and four of those. And, you know, that's what we, we kind of did that a little bit last week, but this week, the challenge, I want to sort of limit our, our material. Um, <clears throat> the straws here, uh, what I've done with those is I've glued them together at an angle like that. So I've got um, a whole bunch um, like that. Um, a little thing of marbles and I glued two together. So something, what you want to start with, something that is really easy to make a whole bunch of really quickly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the, um, the paper rolls. I'm going to start with that one first and then maybe I'll go into a freestanding sculpture second. Because um, that one's kind of the easiest uh, in terms of and simplest in terms of what materials you do or do not need. Um, so I've got this all panel here I'm ready to work on and I'm going to start by making all my units or all my all my um, modules. So to begin, I've got some paper that I've cut up into strips. Um, I'm just reusing, uh, like these are from uh, like a pad of Bristol board. I've just sort of chopped them up. Um, these are old like to-do lists. And I've chosen some colors that kind of fit together a little bit. And I've created a bunch of rolls like that. So, Put these aside here for a second. If you want your rolls to be nice and tight and thin, um, I'm going to sort of roll it around a pencil like this. Oh, 
that way, and then I'm gonna slide it off. That way I have like a nice sort of thin kind of tube. Um, now if I glued this, it would take a while for it to like dry. So I'm gonna use a piece of tape here. <clears throat> and I know that looks kind of tacky, but I'll show you how to hide that in a little bit. Um, they don't have to be this thin. They can also be um, a little bit looser if you want. So I'm gonna roll this one a little bit looser. So I get to the end there and I'm gonna put a piece of tape right on just like that. Uh, also, while we're working on this, if you, if anyone has any questions, I know I can't hear you, but I can see the uh, the chat on the side there. So if you have any questions while we're working on this, please feel free to to uh, to ask, and I will uh, I'll you know I'll try and uh, and bring that in. Okay, so I'm going to do actually I'm going to cut this one shorter. I don't need all that paper for that. Roll that up, a little piece of tape on it. So you can see now I have three. I'm, I'm able to make some of these uh, pretty, pretty quickly. A nice little trick or hack is you can take uh, a bigger sheet and roll it up uh, nice and big. Tape along the side. I think normally I would use um, clear tape for this, but I don't have. I don't have any at the moment. So, put a little more on there. And if you want, you can make your units, you know, nice and long, um, like that. Or if you want them to be shorter, once you've uh, made the, the tube, now what I can do is I can start cutting them. And just like that, I started with one and now I have, now I have five. So that's a, that's a way that you can kind of speed up the process a little bit. All right, this one, I'm gonna maybe cut that one in half. There we go. Okay, so now I've started to, you know, I've got a bit of a collection of uh, of units or modules, and now you can kind of decide how you're going to assemble them together. So step one is to gather the material. Step two is to either change it um, or, or cre like to create a module by either changing that material or adding something to it. Like on the, on the straws, I added them together like this. Um, and on the paper, I rolled them up. Um, and the, uh, the, the paper tubes, I cut them up. So there's a couple different ways um, that you can sort of modify or create your, your, your module. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna start on the panel. Uh, I'm gonna use white glue for this one. Um, now, if you're using something that's like, starting with like kind of like really big ones, let me move this a little bit closer. Um, your first one might be a bit tricky uh, to get it to sort of stand up. So I'm gonna use something that's actually one of my bigger or wider ones. I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and a bit of a ring. And I'm gonna put this right in there. And if your ring isn't the perfect size, you can kind of like shift it around like that. And then you got make sure that the glue is, is touching the thing there. Now I've got a bit of a jam in my glue bottle. So I'm going to try and clean that out. Just using a toothpick. There we go. 
Excellent. All right, so now I'm gonna use another one and I'm gonna put it directly beside here. I'm gonna put a little more glue on there and I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue up the side. I'm gonna stick it in the glue and then push them kind of together. And eventually, once you have uh, a, a number of them in there, they're gonna start, they're gonna really be able to support uh, themselves, which was especially in this one, um, especially when I started with the really, really tiny ones in the middle there, um, they would just keep falling over. So I did a couple all at once, um, and then eventually the glue started to dry, and then I would just keep pushing them and so that they would uh, connect with the one beside it. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there on this one, my next one. And each time I put them together, I put the side that I have the tape on the inside. So that way, now I've got three on there. And if I rotate it around, okay, I can see some tape still peeking out there. So maybe that's where I'm gonna put my next piece. I'm gonna put my next one there, a little bit of glue on like that, and just sort of nudge it in there gently. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'm going to use a new color, kind of a canary yellow. Now, you can see it's looking a bit like kind of a bit of a mess with uh, all this glue down here. If you missed a spot, you can just put a little bit in. Um, you can use something to kind of like scrape that up. Kind of clean that. Just be careful not to, you know, push your, your little tubes too much. Um, or, um, you can just like this was in the same situation before um, and you can't see it because the glue it just dries uh, it dries clear so you can just kind of wait wait that one out and let's see I'm gonna put this tall one here now when I put a big tall one in I'm gonna maybe put it uh, closer to these ones because it's gonna be close uh, closer in size if I put it here, then it's gonna be kind of a big jump, which is fine. But those are things that I kind of wanna think about as I'm making it. So I'm gonna put this one over here so it's closer in size. Actually, maybe I'll even cut it a little bit shorter. So it's still a bit taller, but um, not too much taller. More glue there, glue on the side. I'm going to sort of push that in there. Okay, so I'm going to keep going on that um, and kind of like fill fill some of these up. Uh, you don't have to go over the, to the to the to the edges like this one. I keep showing you this one, but there's a bit of a you know a design in here. I'll keep this trying to keep it in the camera view for a little bit. Okay, so that's the one that you're you're working on the panel. the The next one that we're gonna that I'm gonna show you is the one. It's a little more. Uh, it might be a little more finicky, but um, we're we're gonna be building something that's a little more freestanding. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to my example here um, of my sort of freestanding sculpture. It stands this way like that. I could put it like this. I could put it any which way. Um, I'm going to do that one with these. And to cut these, because it's round, I usually flatten this first. And I cut them like this, and 
and then I unflatten them afterwards, just like that. Okay, so now this one uh, is a little more, um, well, there, I mean, you can do any of them any way you like, but this one is a little more uh, sort of free, free form and you can kind of um, decide, uh, the next thing you need to is decide how you're gonna put them together. Um, because these are gonna, I'm gonna be building them up, I'm gonna use a hot glue gun for this one so that it dries a bit quicker. Um, so I could, for example, I could start kind of stacking them like this. Um, I could maybe start putting them together, you know, stacking them like this. Um, I think I'll maybe I'll start with that because I want to. Um, <laughs> okay, I need another glue here. So I'm going to begin by gluing uh, a little bit of glue on this one. I'm going to put those together. It's a little toasty. Actually, what I'm going to do for these is I'm going to do that a, a few more times. I'm going to I'm going to keep gluing together these tubes in, into little little number eights like that. And that way, they're already, you know, partially together and ready to go. And as I'm sort of putting these together, um, I'm preparing my materials, but also the very first one I did, it's pretty much dry now. So I like to kind of go back and forth between, you know, before when I was rolling the paper, I'll roll a few things of paper, then I'll like glue a few to that, and then I'll go back and I'll kind of keep going back and forth. Um, but it's up to you, you know, if you like making all of your little modules uh, beforehand. Um, you can also, like, like I said before, you can use basically whatever you want um, that you can find lots of. Um, for example, I started I started this one with toothpicks. Um, my module was very, very small. All I did was take a toothpick like this, sort of break it or bend it, but it I didn't break it totally apart. Um, and this is this was fun, but um, if you can see like my uh, yeah, it is pretty cool, but my fingers are pretty fat so it was really hard to kind of like you know it, it got it pretty got, it got pretty um finicky after a little while so um that actually took me quite a while to do because i kept burning myself with the glue gun um so you know you can do something with bigger pieces or smaller pieces it's it's totally up to you Let's put that there i guess all right so these are now uh starting to get uh, they're starting to be starting to dry out. So I'm going to start assembling them together. Let's see. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to glue them together there. I don't know how well that's going to hold because there's not a very big spot that they're staying together. We'll try. Let's see what happens. Well, it's pretty important, I think, when you're when you're making artwork is to you know explore and experiment a lot, try out different materials. You know, I've got four things on the go right now, um, which is not that uncommon, but for me, but, uh, you know, trying lots of things and if, you know, four of them don't work, but one of them does and you're super happy about it, then that's pretty great, I think. Together there. A few other spots, put a little bit of glue in there. Okay. 
I keep sort of building my tower. This little piece. And each time I'm putting these on, I'm kind of twisting, uh, twisting them just a little bit. Okay, so if you look at it inside, it's kind of getting a, whoop, that's starting to fall off. All right. So that's sort of the, the beginning of that process. Um, we are almost out of time, or I'm almost out of time, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working on on some of these and uh, I'll give them to uh, Connor and Christy and they'll throw them up on the website, the finished product. Um, maybe I'll paint them. So what I did, this is what we made last week. Uh, with our assemblage sculpture with lots of different bits and pieces and then I painted it. Um, <clears throat> I probably won't paint this one because I really like the black and the, the white and that little yellow in there. Almost kind of looks like a, but that reminds me of um, like a fried egg or something on a frying pan. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll show you guys that, um, you know, these when they're finished, if, if, uh, if they turn out all right. And, uh, and as always, um, if you make something and you'd love to share it with us, we would love, uh, we would absolutely love to see what you've made. Uh, if you've made some things, um, please feel free to take a photo of it and send and uh, post it on Facebook or Instagram. And if you uh, use our hashtag uh, AGH at home, uh, we will, yes, thank you, Christy. Uh, we will uh, we'll share it and uh, we'll you know then we'll we'll be able to see it and uh, and everyone else will be able to see it um, yeah there's our our info thank you Christy um, yeah I, I I this is actually the first I hadn't noticed that at all um, until I was looking at it in the screen so that's kind of neat um, so yeah, again, thank you very much for uh, for joining us here um, on Workshop Wednesdays. Next week, we're going to be doing a collage project. So um, if you want to get a head start, you can start gathering up uh, different uh, materials and paper for that. Um, so I'm gonna be going through some abstract collage things. I've already started to grab some some things, so some ideas. There's the classic like magazines. Um, you know, you can also find like great textures in like this is the I don't know if you can see it very well because of the light, like old paper towel that I've been wiping my paintbrushes on for like the last week. I'm gonna save that and use that maybe next week. You know, maybe some bubble wrap. Um, these are like some old swatches from, you know, paintings I, I did in, in a sketchbook like ages ago. Um, they're just kind of like sitting around. I'm going to use those. Um, and then, of course, like, you know, this, this sort of stuff works really, really well for that as well. So I'll have a materials list up uh, for that um, in case you uh, didn't catch all that. Um, but yes, thank you very much again for joining. It uh, feels like we just started like five minutes ago, but uh, now we're, we're at the end, but uh, wonderful. Okay, I will uh, see you guys hopefully next week. All right.